Hi, it's Apali again. Welcome to my channel if you are new. And let's see what today's conversation teaches us. Of course, I've arranged a few dialogues in this lesson that happens to be between a young son and his mother regarding an accident he has met with and then another conversation reporting what happened to their son, to his father, by his mother. So my objective here is to teach you how reported speech is used accurately in conversations. Make sure you learn the grammatical components of the reported speech and then listen to the dialogues and see how the reported speech is utilized in conversations. Anyways, I've explained here how to change direct speech into indirect speech related to the dialogues in this lesson and hope it would help you to brush up your knowledge in reported speech. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, before listening to these dialogues, just get a general idea of what reported speech is. It is how we represent the speech of other people. There are two types of reported speech. They are direct speech and indirect speech. If you need to repeat the exact words and the same tone the person used, you definitely need to use direct speech. Otherwise, we usually use indirect speech in representing other speech. So let's see some general examples for direct and indirect speech. Once again, I'll remind you what direct speech is. Direct speech repeats that exact words the person used or how we remember their words. For example, Jerry said in this conversation, I'm supposed to get one today. Now let's see what are the changes we need to make when converting it into the indirect speech. For better clarification, I have illustrated the changes by using different colors, all right? In indirect speech, the original speaker's words should be changed. Jerry said, I'm supposed, but this I is Jerry, not the one who repeats it or you. So we should always change the pronouns or the doer accordingly. This I is Jerry, so it should be he. The next thing we change is the tense. Because the time the action happens is different from the time the report is heard. So it should essentially be past tense. So if the speaker uses present tense, we need to tell it in past tense. In the same way, if the speaker uses past tense, it should be repeat, repeated in past perfect tense, that is, past of the past. For this, you need to use had with the past participle verb. Do you get what I am saying? If not, please rewind the video and clear out your doubts, right? The next element we need to change is the time, today. That today is not the actual today. This statement can be repeated after some time. Maybe after months or years. Maybe. So, it is essentially the past. So, we need to change today into that day. Finally, as this is a statement, you need to combine this with a specific word. That is, that. So, the complete statement should be, Jerry said that he was supposed to get one on that day. Is it clear? Alright. The next important fact you need to concern is that indirect speech focuses more on the content of what someone said rather than their exact words. If somebody says, I'm sorry, what is more important is not his words, but his intention, that is his apology. So the direct speech, I'm sorry, said Mark, should be changed into Mark apologized. Okay? Now let's learn more about how to change direct speech into indirect speech. 
there are four types of reported speech they are statements questions commands or requests and suggestions the way the changes of the word order is different from one category to the other if it's a statement there is no change in word order and the specific word used to combine to the direct speech is that For example, in today's telephone conversation, Jerry informs his mom that his arm was crushed against the door. So his mom repeats the same thing to his dad as Jerry said that his arm had been crushed against the door. So as I told earlier, the past tense should be changed into past perfect tense. Was turns into had been. When it comes to questions there is a change in word order Mom asks Jerry how long will you be staying in the hospital Remember in indirect speech there are no questions and all should be turned into statements okay So the word order should definitely be changed Will you be staying is the question form and you is Jerry but for mom it's he so it is changed as he would be staying so the question form of will you be staying is changed as he would be staying and will is also changed to its past form that is would all right next is commands in commands The action is more important than the doer. So it comes to the front. But in in the indirect speech we make it infinitive. Mom commands Jerry, "Take your medicine." So we convert it to mom ordered him to take medicine. The additional word we use in commands is to Now let's go to suggestions. Let's go together is changed into father suggested to go together. Is it complicated? Maybe if this is the first time you learned this lesson. Anyways, as this is a crash course to spoken English, we are not going to deeper into grammatical components. and i just refresh your knowledge in this area got it all right now let's listen to the conversations hey mom how's it going hi jerry we are safe here what's new did your driving test yes mom did it last week guess what i passed i'm going to buy a new car today i'm excited congrats now dad is free it will give you a good start in life and it opens a lot more doors as well yes you are right i'm sure i'll have more job opportunities now now you can do some part time jobs when you don't have lectures right yes i've already applied for a few part time jobs good luck boy safe driving in your new car make sure you follow the road rules correctly okay thanks mom i will Hi mom, I got some bad news. Why darling? What's wrong? I had a car accident yesterday and I'm still in the hospital. Oh no, I'm really sorry to hear that. What happened? You got hurt? Yes mom, my arm was crushed against the door and the airbag bruised my face. My car was totaled. I'm so disappointed about it. Holy moly. Cars are replaceable but you are not. I'm happy you are alive. What happened exactly? Well, at one intersection in Queens Road, I was turning left when another driver who ignored a stop sign hit me. This is nothing short of a miracle. Were people in the other car, right? Yes, they were. I wasn't going very fast, so not much damage to them. How long will you be staying in the hospital? I'm not sure, but I think I'll have to stay for a few more days 
and I'll be laid up for a while, Mom. Take your medicine. Hope you'd get better soon. I'll pay your visit tomorrow with Dad, okay? Hey, Peter. I've got a bad news for you. What's that? Jerry had a car accident and now he's in the hospital. Oh, my. What happened? Has he got badly hurt? He said that while he'd been turning at the intersection in Queens Road, another driver who had ignored a stop sign had hit him. Oh my gosh, he might have had a narrow escape then. How is his condition now? He told that his arm had been crushed against the door and the airbag had bruised his face. Was the car severely damaged? He said he was disappointed about his car that had been totaled. What is the condition of the other car and the people there? He assumed that driver was okay, but his car too had been severely damaged. How long will he be staying in the hospital? He told he wasn't sure about how long he would be staying there, and he assumed that he'd be laid up for a while. So we need to visit him there soon, right? Of course. I already promised him that I would pay him a visit soon. Let's go together then. Well, that's it for today. Hope you understood the usage of reported speech in these conversations. If you still have doubts in these changes, check it with these tables and learn them. Changes in tenses in reported speech. If uh, it is in present simple, you have to change it uh, into past simple. And if it is present continuous, past continuous. If it is past simple, past perfect. If it's present perfect, it's past perfect. And if it's future tense, with will, it should be would, and if it shall, it should be should, and if it's can, it should be could, and if it's have to, it should be had to, and if it's imperative, it should be to infinitive. Uh, for example, uh, in the con conversation, uh, mom says, take your medicine, and in indirect speech, we use Mother ordered him to take medicine. So take should be changed into to take. All right. And there are some changes in adverbials of time. Uh, if it's now, it should be then. If it's here, it should be there. If it's this, it should be that. And if it's these, it should be those. And if it's ago, we have to use before and if it's thus it's so if it's today it's that day if it's tonight it's that night and if it's yesterday uh, it should be the day before or the previous day if it's tomorrow it should be the next day or the following day if it's last week uh, it should be the week before uh, and if it's next week it should be the week after so those are the main changes you need to consider when using reported speech. Practice these dialogues using reported speech. And I'll see you with another lesson of this crash course soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.